So today we're working on my 2000 Subaru Legacy Outback Limited. Now, what we're working on is actually taking apart the center console and my car so that way I can get my six disc CD changer replaced. Now, what you're gonna have to do first is make sure you have tools like a screwdriver or even an interchangeable bit piece and a uh, flathead works too but right now I don't have one so I can't say flathead will work right now anyways so what you do first is let me pull this stuff up is this sits right around here yeah just like that actually interesting I can do that like that. what you do is just pop this piece up pull this piece out uh, and set it aside and then this little tray right here sits right in here and then there's two screws right here that you got to take out after that you then got to take this out push down pull it out that simple okay <laughs> after that you can't remove this until you remove these two screws that sit in that spot right there and that spot right there now there's a third screw that's all the way in the back in fact i might be able to show in fact it sits right where is it here it sits right here but this has a lip under it so hey is that bent no it it literally has a lip is what I'm gonna say now after you get that disconnected you can just pull you can just pull right here so that way you can gently get it out now what I'd recommend is actually pushing down on this area and then this area so that way you don't yank this piece out okay after that's all out then you can get ready to unmount this. God, I need to change that. Anyways. So, there's six screws that actually mount this in. And there's two right here. What I'd recommend is if you can, squeeze your hand in there just enough. Put your finger over the lip of the screw and then pull it out with the screwdriver the two that sit down here one right there one right there is just hold your hand underneath it and then just let them fall i would recommend doing the same thing to that one and that one however but that's because uh my hand's too big However, if you got a magnetic screw, then carefully pull it out. Otherwise, you're going to drop it down in that area. It's not fun. And after that, now, normally, you would have to disconnect those two wires, those two plugs. But I instead un, uh, unscrewed it from there because I was too lazy. And then, except for that one, that one I wasn't. <laughs> you gotta disconnect this, push down on that, cut that out. Let me grab this. And this, you wanna make sure you plug back in, because I was dits and in it. I should probably pull it down, so that one. There we go. Okay. Now, I got 
my new one from a junkyard down at Pick Apart over on 17th Street here in Utah. Okay. And I went to like two different junkyards, one tear apart and uh, pick apart. Now, tear apart didn't have that darn six disc CD changer. And pick apart was the only one I could find. Both places are a dollar to get in. And yeah. Now, my old one, however, had a Spanish CD in it. I took it out. I took it apart. Took it out. Thought it would work still. Well, well, you know what? I was wrong. Now, I may be recording more videos like this on how to fix your Subaru. Mainly now, if I get a different car in the future and you want, I'll definitely... I'll still record videos for that, so that way people will know how to fix that or even take out their center console and get their CD, their stereo changed out. So, let's get this show on the road, okay? I hope you guys can see that. So, what we're going to be doing first... So what we're going to be doing first is unscrewing those two screws. Actually, you know what? I don't need that that big. Come on. I'll be honest, I can't wait to actually get this fixed. So you right there. You know, I'm thinking about putting that right there, but then again, I don't want to. There's another screw. I think that one I actually could really use a bit. Oh, hey, look at that. Okay. I think pushing that forward would work. Yeah, let's get the screws back in first. Make sure that's tight. Gonna work. 
plug that back in. Screw that part down. Okay, so now we got the new one in, and well, let's see and make sure, oh, let's make sure that this area is going to work. God damn! I think I should have just disconnected this. I was just too lazy. Hey, wait. Ah, uh, yeah, that's why I didn't want to disconnect. Sorry guys, forgot to mention there's a stupid cord that runs in here. I don't know what kind of cord it is. I think it's, I think it's mainly just to control like the temperature and shit. I, I'll be honest, I'm not that bright on cars. Just don't judge. Just a sec, guys. I kind of misplaced the screw. I'm gonna put you guys on. Okay, sorry about that. I found the screw. 